all right what is up guys welcome back to another awesome tutorial in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to create our very own um flyer design okay so we'll be making a flyer design for easter and we'll be doing a very simple simple design so what you want to do is quickly head over to this place and then you select your background okay so if you have not watched how to create the background in our last video go and watch that video um, in the channel how to create your own personalized background but for this video we're getting our backgrounds from our gallery so we'll go to gallery and then we'll go to images all right go to images yeah then i think i have that picture saved some of us you just check where you saved the picture some of us are all might be saved in a whatsapp um you know business images or just your normal whatsapp um, images all right so for easter i'm looking for a design that has um, jesus in it or the cross sign so i have this flyer here let's just use this for the sake of this class we'll be using this design um has a plus sign for christ there and they will just crop this and uh do this all right uh usually usually we have easter designs to just be happy easter and then we'll have um, the picture of jesus coming out of the grave so for us to really have that vibe in this easter design we are going to quickly head over to google and we are going to search for jesus out of the grave png file all right jesus out of grave png all right as we search that google is going to give us different style or just remove the png oh i said out of grave 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 i didn't expect grave grave yeah jesus out of the grave pics of um yeah, just use jesus out of the grave gp jpeg right hd and that's high definition beautiful 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 so we have a lot we have a lot we have a lot so we're just going to pick the one that really speaks for our design so we can come to this all right most times you can go to pinterest to get the images but i like to go to google because i feel faster that way i don't like wasting time on the internet because of data because i don't want to be wasting my time on data all right so now we have the images we can just select a few more we can select a few more all right we can select a few more uh, this is another beautiful one all right can select this save to download all right okay so let's just work with those two we have why well, i don't want to use some of these because they are very popular like this and this this particular one is already popular this one is also a popular one but we can still use any of them it's your choice that's why i love to design because i go with what i flow with all right so well if you are if you are the one designing for a client you have to be sure you know what that client is looking for all right so now we've downloaded those designs we head over back to pixel lab and then we'll go import them from the gallery all right i go to my images and i get to download all right then i can pick any of the image all right so let's pick this one all right now i'm showing you different ways to make your graphics um to make your e flyers all right but for this particular video we'll just focus on one let's hide this and maybe delete this and then focus on just this all right so now we'll learn how to this this image is not so bright it's not very sharp yeah but we are going to use it in contrast it's just going to be like a feeling it's not going to be the main content of our design so that's why i'm showing you this so we'll go to from color v or rather we'll just go to shapes right and we can include our shapes now we can bring in this shape now i want to be able to blend this shape inside the design so i take the shape yeah, now I'll change the color to a dark color change it to black then i come over here and i go to opacity and i reduce the opacity of this all right i reduce the opacity a little bit so you could see i'm not really focusing on the background of my design now but this design has a background that has been built already so what we want to do now is to 
quickly lock these two and then add in some other elements to beautify this design adding our text adding other things to make it pop all right now for this design i would like to add um i would like to add a blend to effect blending to is you know blending the design to sit properly so that they, you feel the dark vibe and also feel the lighting from this um cross light grid side all right so i'm going to amplify that much later in the design but for now let's just add some other elements um no so let's go to this place and then we'll add in shapes again now watch what i'm about to do go to gradients for this shape all right yes go to gradients and select this particular gradient like this particular gradient yes and then you click ok go to remove erase color and then you enable it and then you increase the tempo all right so this is how we achieve our blend tool there are a lot of ways to achieve it but i want to show you this simpler way in much videos i will show you more of how to blend so you come to colors give it a color i like to give it a black shade of color yeah. now this is how we now blend this image in the design right as opposed to just having a black overlay with opacity we are going to use this to blow out some part of the design from the bottom side all right so now we have this you can quickly just do this all right choose to use this color or you can use to use the white color instead of using black let's see how white looks mm. I think it gives it that reason vibe all right so if I bring this to the front and just use only the white on it let's see all right good I think it has the vibe more now reduce the opacity see i'm bringing the design down okay so i'm bringing it up to paste all right so now we have constructed a good design a uh, background for our design now what we want to do is to now what you want to do now is to add your text now your text should have a way of blending into this design very properly without being so obscured or being so out of context All right now so we can just do a centralized to and say say what his reason he right he is reason All right and that's it okay all right so this is it we can just say his reason hmm? as our headline too all right so i'll be teaching in the next class how to get your headlines catchy because it's a catchy headline that that will drag your attention or the attention of your target people or the people you are trying to send a message to all right so let's find a more a very um comfortable font to say his reason let's try this one all right okay it's fine you can just use this Okay, we'll lock this up so that it doesn't move again. So, you know, for designing, you, you are not supposed to be restricted. You are allowed to, to go as experimental as you can be. Don't be restricted to what you can do. You're free to try out different things. And, but make sure the goal is to pass a clear message in a very beautiful way. Alright, so that's what we try to achieve every time we design. So I'm trying to get the lighting effect for this and where I went to selected the test and I go to shadow. Alright, I gave it the black, but black doesn't look so fine. So I probably give it the white. I want, want to give it something like a yellow so to have that that you know sunlight vibe around it. Okay, so let's use this. Here's reason. This design is not popping yet. But let's just come to centralize relative button centralize this though i want this to be up 
right so have he is reason all right his reason is there and if this is not really popping we can come here and change this to a black and see if it if it fits well black his reason hmm. all right so now let's make this a white make this text a white beautiful all right so we have this he is reason all right all right so once you once you have been able to achieve some beauty in the design the next is one to add more of the elements right let's centralize this to the center of the center 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 good so his reason is our cash phrase so anybody who's saying this is saying what he is reason okay but his reason now is blocking this cross sign so we want people to see that the cross is also there so we can take this design upwards all right we can take the design upwards good now that is upwards we can then we'll bring this um blend to upwards too all right that's beautiful all right so now we are going to then add more text and more elements is reason happy easter and um you add your picture all right so that's about the design all right happy easter celebration you just write happy easter celebration all right let's say happy easter celebrations here This is the most simplest design that I expect everybody should be able to do in less than two seconds. So once you have watched this video, I'm expecting to see you do this and then send to us on the group and also, you know, send it to the personal DMs and let's see and just get you ready for the next job. All right. So this is it. He's raising happy Easter celebration. Now, once you've done this, if you are doing this for your own particular self, you know, are sending it for your to your friends all right you're saying happy easter celebrations happy easter celebrations uh, happy easter celebrations i don't need that all right so we are saying happy easter celebrations i hope that english is correct too all right but now um let's just have that here you can then add also your wishes your prayers to your fans or your family and friends yeah, right let's just say may this easter bring you bring life to everything you are doing or blah 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 may this easter all right because Easter is the celebration of death and life okay bring life to everything bring life bring new life oh i like that bring new life to you and yours all right to you and yours all right then i think i'll just use this for my own share all right but you guys can get creative with it you can get creative with it so don't just be restricted all right so i i don't want this to really just look a one-sided design okay so i say maybe sister bring you new life I could probably just leave this here and then centralize it go to this button click on centralize yes align centralize yes and you bring that to the middle all right so there is a bit of difference you can make this happy easter celebrations have a different font make sure your font should not be so different they should not be so much apart it should have a level of unison in the fonts, right? Alright, so I'm using exactly the same font I used for his reason for Happy Easter celebrations here. Yeah? Alright, so bring that down. It's reason. 
at least that celebration may this Easter bring you bring new life to you and yours full stop okay then um, put that there alright so you can have a bit of separation let us add a line shape to it i want you guys to be able to watch this and then create your own without fail so to add a box line to this watch closely you come to opacity you reduce the opacity of this box you come to stroke you increase the size of the stroke all right so let's make it a wide stroke all right so we bring the stroke and then we just use it to align this this um, prayer point or prayer here all right you can also go back and reduce the width of this stroke so it's slick and beautiful all right so that's it so once you have this click ok and then you have something like this all right so if i come here centralize this so it's at the middle come to our text or oh, let's bad look it text come to our text and make it also centralized all right so this is this is quite stunning to quite a design right happy star celebrations with this this is just a simple very simple um it's just a very simple tool that you can use so if i up on 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 padlock all these leave them open so i can just maybe take this a little bit above increase and take this also a little bit above all right you're almost done with the design you know once you are able to achieve this you know you are set all right take this a little bit above then let's padlock the rest all right set this one okay so now we're having a very beautiful design done and um if you look at this design now i can see that some of them are being clogged up so let's take these two downwards all right let's take these two downwards let's take this a little bit down let's take this a little bit down also all right take this a little bit down now once you have this the next thing you want to do is to probably just add your your name or your hashtag or your message or you know your identity so that they will know you're the one that made the design so for me i'm just going to add um a quick feel of my logo on the design so everybody knows who is coming from so you some of us you can add uh you know you know add this one there all right so you can just put your logo if you have a logo and we'll be discussing on how to create logo shortly all right then you can then add below from all of us at you know happy easter celebrations may this easter bring you this 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 follow for more from all of us at kgh koye graphic house as my own logo all right so you can just add your own or better still let's make it more interesting so let's go and add our photo so in the last class i've told us how to crop out your own images if you have not done that go do that in the next um, in, your, in the previous class add your logo so now that we are done I'm going to be adding my own cropped out image that I have in my phone all right so that's the next thing you are going to do if you have cropped out any of your images in your phone before just go and crop out the one you want to use so let's use this fine guy yep all right so I'm just going to use this okay so that's beautifully kept there you know it gives it a whole new vibe all right i can put that there or i can put it here i think here is more preferable all right so that's me in the design now okay so if you notice the design this design have is trying to create a balance you can see the balance is trying to create all right so this is where make sure your design is always within the box don't make your design to be too spread out all right so very so guys finally what you just need to do is to lock all this and then add your name and what you do so you can just quickly come and add here let me just duplicate this
can just say from and I give the from a different um, look just a from here right and then this me this star stuff is already almost fighting with my face in the design so we can give it a little bit of room right you see that you reduce the size of your image so it sits properly it's not so big right okay so that's very nicely kept like that you can just see Let's say from Eugene Dozier. I'll just leave it at that and then I'll just put social media handle on below. From Eugene Dozier, alright. Good. Alright, so just get that there. You can also increase the font or change the font of this to something more suitable for a name check some of the sentences I've used all right so let's use this one there's a lot of okay let's try this one test wrap let's travel all right so I'll say from Eugene Dozier I try to maintain the alignment of the from and then I put in some social media handles at the bottom so if you don't have social media handles you can go and download them all right I mean uh, the design for social media the logos for social media handles all right so I have some saved already I'll just quickly add them to the design and then boom the design is done and done and ready to be sent to friends and family all right so you quickly come here and search for any of the social media handles if you downloaded it just type facebook logo instagram logo and all of that on google and you see them to download all right you have to be resourceful as a designer you need to get your designs get your your elements ready you know you don't need to wait for anybody to send elements for you. What I don't know you want to add. Right, so you go quickly. Images. Hmm. Here is our no. Where did I keep that pin now? to have them here now my is okay see it here so you can add this or add this so i'm adding this one all right select all right so that's it so that like is design this stuff will sit very well and look fine we can keep it like this so we'll go over to erase background or erase color remove the color all right that we removed now we're going to then change the color of this elements and give it a white color beautiful so it can balance out in that design below okay. so from Eugene Dozier blah if you want to find out about Eugene Dozier you go to Instagram Facebook or Twitter then you see more about the dude alright so if you notice I try to shift this to the end if your hand is not aligned you can just come here and then use the positioning tool to position them for this from i want to give it a very slick font all right so i'm going to change the font and then select something else from um, my font board all right so i go to my font board and i select something very slick i think i have it here already they came by work sure fonts all right so the font is not really from this world it's a very out of this world kind of font so there it is said from right.
Now, because some part of the font is hiding, you come to padding and give it some room so that nothing is hiding in the font. Alright, see from good. I want to see something like this, just a pose, a kind of conflict between the names, but to make sure it is defined, I can give this from a different color so it pops out. Alright, so I like to give it a yellow. If you notice, I work more with black and yellow in my designs because those are like the two colors I like to wrap myself around because black and yellow are two beautiful colors that I see. See my logo, black and yellow from Eugene Dozy, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Done. So I think this design is good to go. It's not so much. I can still add more elements to make it pop. Uh, okay, but for now, this is just good. If you can get to this point and do this, send to your family send to your friends send to us on the platform so we can see your easter design get it done and submit it before easter monday all right so if you have done this to this point and if you have watched this one congratulations to you don't forget to like share subscribe hit the bell notification so you can get new fresh updates whenever we post and i'll see you in our next video tutorial peace out and as always do have a very wonderful life I almost forgot, I almost forgot. So, but before we go, make sure you save your job. And when you are saving, you come to save us. Alright? Save, find the name. I say Happy Easter here. Happy Easter. Alright? Happy Easter. Oh, my spelling. Easter. Alright, yeah. Huh? Happy Easter. Good. So, once you are saving this, before you click OK, Come to this button right here let me show you i don't know if you can see it come to this button right here all right and go back click on back yes now like this you then press ok and then it is saved so once you've gotten to this point you know you have saved the design next you want to export it save image you can come to png here and then go to ultra so the image qualities and everything are very clear right there you click on save to gallery once it's done rendering, you quickly go to your gallery and then you go to your Pixel Labs. Alright, so there's Pixel Lab here. Good, beautiful, boom. And then you see your design beautifully, beautifully done. Alright, see everywhere it's just popping the design. Alright, so in the subsequent class, I'll be showing you guys how to really blend in your images. Like if you see this image, you notice that there are still some flaws in it. But we are going to be working on all of that in the next class. Alright, so don't forget to practice and submit this work. No matter what you do, is an attempt and every attempt can be bettered. So I don't, I don't want you to hold back saying, hey, I will make a mistake. No, try it out. Do something. Get up your ass and work it out. Alright, don't sit down complaining. Just try it out and you'll be surprised at what you can create. Alright, don't stop creating, don't stop exploring and don't stop being better. Alright, that's how we go. Alright, see you in the next one guys and I'll, and I'll hope to receive your assignments. Peace out and do have a creative life. Alright guys, so for the final part of this design, I know it has been a long, long design but it's worth it. Alright guys, so for the final part, we are going to be spicing up this our design to make it look more social media friendly and also to make it look um, more spicy, you know, just to spice it up. You know, when you finish cooking your food, you add some sprinkled onions and you know, some, you know, special effect to the food so that it, it pops. So we go to our images, add image and we'll head over to photo room. Yes. Uh, photo room and then once we get to photo room we are going to then add the picture we have already cropped out all right so for the pictures we've cropped out already i'm going to be adding this um celebration emoji that has been blurred all right and we are going to be using it to you know blend out this part of the design yes where the image looks like it was caught all right so we're going to be using it to blend out that side of the design and um, quickly you know you have to select a particular area where you want it to be all right send it at the back of the design so that they don't you know affect the Eugene Dozier and also the logo 
all right so we are we are trying to ward off this plat that is shaded all right so once you put it there then we need to make sure that the design for eugene dozier and um, the logos under it pop out also so what we are going to do after blocking the part of the image that is blurred or that the part of the image that looks like is caught out of that picture we'll head over to our logo for the social media for facebook um, instagram and twitter and then we'll add shadow effects to it all right then we'll head over to eugene Tozier and also go to shadow and then we'll add a background shadow to it black all right so that those designs really pop out there and they are not hiding because of that um celebration emoji flyer effect that we're adding there all right so that being done all right that being done we are going to also you know pop the design more by you know adding more of the creating some form of repetition to the design so that it is nicely done all right it's nicely done you save also as ultra so it's very sharp and even if it's not that clear if it doesn't balance out you are still going to come back to the design and try to make it balance out so let's check out the design and see how it looks all right checking the design to see how it looks. go over to pixel lab and then check the images so you see it's still a form of emptiness in the design it still looks a little bit empty so let's try and spice it more all right let's add some more spice so we are going to duplicate that flyer design there um the celebration emoji and try and fix it up somewhere in the design so it balances out beautifully all right so you can get creative with this you know that is one thing about stealing in the design it doesn't have to be word for word you know when you tap for example you don't just copy everything that you're saying so you can still do your own and you know make it pop make it more you know poppy and fine and beautiful all right but make sure you observe the principles as you're trying to locate a best place to keep your designs make sure it's not all clogged up and it doesn't you know disobey the laws of graphic the principles of graphics all right so try to use the opacity tool here so that the design can be a little bit hidden it not be so pronounced because that is not the main goal of the design the main goal of our design is he is reason all those other celebration are just the other etc trams etc trams you know like all the other you know spices you know it should not affect the main food all right so that's why we are reducing the opacity of that design so it can just sit beautifully somewhere in the in the job the graphic design job so we're just going to look for a nice place to position this and once it's done the food will be ready to serve all right so this is us finalizing the cook and making sure that every part of the food is well placed okay so i'm putting it in a very nice place up there at his reason i'm trying to maintain balance i don't want it to be one-sided and that's why you see i'm spreading it um trying to find an even way to spread it across the design all right so that is what we have for this particular design now wherever you find your own place to save this job you can quickly save it there and then you then you know mark them all and padlock them so they don't move up and down all right you can also you know use this um relative positioning to to move the, the documents and then for the ladder we selected that um you know that grid stuff that looks under the quotation mark you just select it and then you use that to measure the design to make sure it is balanced and it is not you know scattered all around you can see the space between he and reason the space is evenly spread and that explains balance in the design once you're able to achieve that you can save your design and export it all right hope you are able to learn to this point if you are congratulations and i'll see you in our next video peace out and i'm um, happy easter in advance to you all right see you in the next video and also as always do have a very wonderful life